ba 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 Spiritual dome, which was keeping all of the Noahide and Adamites out. The servant found his way through a little crack, and Noah tracked him down and said, Your ass is grass, servant. <laughs> Gan Eden, the kingdom of God, paradise. Noahides in paradise. What will ever they think of next? Noah hides, Noah hides, Noah hides, Noah hides, Noah hides. Children of Noah, mankind after the flood descends from Noah. We're all Noah hides. We're all of the tribe and family of Noah. Adam and Eve, Sephi, Nosh, Canaan, Mahalo, Lil Jared, Enoch, Mephusel, Lamech, Noah. We're also Noah hides. So we're. What was that? That's. Uh, that. Alanis Morris set line in a blaze were all made of the same cells, you know, Adam's cells, humanity cells. You know, that's interesting, yeah. We're all distant cousins, aren't we? And nephews and nieces and relatives and all related. Cousins, Noahides, Adamides, Sephides, Inishides, whatever you want to call us. Humanity. We're all humanity. <laughs> One big sort of happy family. <laughs> when we're not killing each other. <laughs> or taking each other's head off. Or sort of... <laughs> bitching and whinging and moaning about the way of the world. And it's not good enough. <laughs> whinging at our pollies. Uh, He's a sleaze. The Prime Minister is a sleaze. Which Prime Minister? Go wonder what they're calling a, a sleaze these days. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> He's been naughty as... Boss. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Noah. The seven colours of the rainbow. Seven ways to heaven. Seven, seven ways to heaven. You take the blue path or the indigo path. You know, two two blues. Not one blue, but two blues. Not one blue, but two blues. <laughs> of course, you can divide it up into into other segments of the colours, you know. Quite a lot of the spectrum in there. Probably all of it. <laughs> Shades of blue and indigo. Six colours if you've got your head screwed on right. Depends how you look at it, I suppose. Yeah. Three primaries, isn't it? And three secondaries. And you, so you can get, when you combine red, blue, and yellow light, perfect light together, you get white light. So that's funny. Seen that done with a uh, visual camera thing once. And they combine the three primaries together, and you do actually get white. The wisdom of God. Uh, Batman. The Caped Crusader. Don't you love that Todd McFarlane cover? That was the first copy of Batman as a comic, which I'd bought from a newsstand in Percy's and Kuma. This particular one, which was Batman 423, I think it is, or 422, somewhere around there. That was the start of my run in 1987. I think I might have purchased Detective Comics before I'd purchased Batman. I'm not sure. But um, that was the first of the Batman run, and I ran with Batman for a while. It's worth quite a ton now. This is a that's a hardcore collectible, that particular issue. I don't have it anymore. I don't have my original comics anymore. But I am I started with that one. I'm pretty sure that was the one I started with. Yeah. Pity it's worth a fair bit now, especially in high grade. Well, what's this video anyway? This is probably blab of the next blab of like six, six, three, four or somewhere around there, I think.
So this is probably just a blather video where I'm just blathering on. No, isn't there? Probably general blather. Showed me uh, some of the Bloodline cards in another video. Oh, show and tell. That's me there on the left, Matt in the middle, bridge on the right. There's the center on the bottom, bottom left, and that's Greg in the cat in the chair. Back in Barradale, back in the seventies. This the old man. Uh, no, that's that's Dad there. Uh, this is the family here. Don't know who's taking the photo. That's just interspersed communion, probably. Could be a confession. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Don't think it's a confirmation. It is probably my first communion. That's me there, back in St. Pat's and Kuma. Me, Matt, and Greg. Man of Goat Hill and Kuma. Down in Rother Glen. Family holiday in Victoria when we were young. Aren't I adorable? Mum here at 29 Merriman back in the uh, back of the day. Quite a while ago, not sure what, what uh, decade. 90s or 2000s, not 100% sure. Could be 90s, that, but I'm not 100% sure. Dad in his old age. Not long before he died. The family at Lake, Lake George on the, uh, just, just on the road to Sydney from Canberra. Just over Lake George back in the 80s. Matt's dead now. He died in 2012, I think it was, or 2013. There's Matthew up in front of 29 Merriman. Years ago. Alright, postcards and, uh, Oh, yeah. Postcards and stuff. First little photo album. Uh, uh, uh. Waffling on. <sighs> General Blather. Okay. Letter from Marcus Slow. I've opened it. I haven't read the letter completely, just the opening paragraphs. I'm keeping that for a rainy day. One of Mum's birthday cards for me. I keep them now. Another one of my birthday cards in there. Another birthday card inside there. Ooh, a card which mum ne never got sent. I just sort of just kept that, really. Uh, a lot of these ones mum gave me, and some were just hanging around. I just sort of claimed them just to keep for records of her, because she throws, occasionally throws some things out. I just wanted to keep some of these. Postcard from Greg. Greg, Christian, James in P P Phuket, Thailand. That's from Thailand, so they wrote as a postcard. Good luck if you can read that. Some of the mail.
Paris family letter thing. Uh, this is a telegram from dad, I think, or something, uh, or mum or something, mum to dad or something about my birth or something. Envelope. Envelope. Just some letters in there. I think this might be the letter from um, my Uncle Gerald, where I've got his, his some of his family details are in there. Got him to write that out. Another letter from Marcus. It's still in there. I've read one of them. I haven't read the other one. This one I haven't even opened yet, this one. The second letter from Marcus I haven't even been opened. I've kept that, kept that sealed. Uh, this letter is from... Piers Anthony, science fiction writer Piers Anthony, who was big in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I have correspondence with him a bit, on email especially. Just a bit of an envelope. This is from Mum when she was in England. She's been in England a few times in recent, in the last couple of de last decade or so. Here's another one. Greetings from Rome, but they looks like they sent it when they got back to Australia or something. Yeah, Greg, Chris, and James from there in Rome. When they got back to Australia. From Geraldton, Greg, Chris, and James from Ger in Geraldton, Western Australia. They live in Perth in Western Australia. Oh, this is just um, eBay sort of stuff, I think. I'm just keeping the envelope. I think that's eBay stuff. This is just a correspondence letter I bought on eBay of, of um, just just a letter, uh, uh, an envelope. You can buy correspondence and envelopes on eBay from, from people who are just selling old things on eBay. Uh, I collect some correspondence from the world occasionally. These are just correspondence envelopes. You can get the letters as well. It's, they sell letters as well. Some stuff. More letters. Yeah. More correspondence. Le correspondence letter envelopes, really. Just people from Europe, by the looks of it, um, France and stuff. Not to me, just sort of stuff of Trace sell on eBay. Type in correspondence to eBay, find it. Chrissy cards. Chrissy cards. Stuff like that. So just general blather. That'll do. Cheese.